Metlam Australia Toilet Petition Hardware is designed and manufactured to the highest standard and when well maintained will continue to operate as intended for years to come. On occasions, whether it be through an issue caused within the washroom setting or a product issue, Metlam Australia Toilet Petition Hardware may not function at its optimal level. If your toilet petition hardware is not functioning at its optimal level, then follow this simple troubleshooting guide. Metlam Australia Toilet and Shower Petition Locks are manufactured to suit all applications and are lift-off compliant to enable quick access to the occupant in the case of an emergency. This simple troubleshooting guide will assist you to determine if your Metlam Australia Toilet and Shower Cubicle Lock Sets are working correctly and efficiently to their optimal level of performance. If the lock is becoming jammed or doesn't open or close smoothly, then there are most likely two external factors causing the issue. At Metlam Australia, our lock sets are designed with efficient internal mechanisms that last many years beyond their warranty periods. So the issue could be that a foreign object has been inserted into the lock, or there could be a bent tongue caused from vandalism or misuse. It is also possible that the lock set has been either over-tightened when mounted to the door, the internal spindle cut too long, or the lock and indicator not mounted level or in line. To determine if any of these issues may be present, begin by checking to ensure that there are no foreign objects through the tongue or neck slot. Use silicon spray to spray onto the tongue and through the tongue slot. Ensure that you open and close the lock to work the spray around the internal mechanisms. Once you have done this, and if the lock is still jamming or resisting opening or closing, you need to check whether the lock set has been mounted correctly. First, perform an external check to see if the lock set and indicator are fitted level on the door. Check side on to see if the lock is level. If the lock is slightly out of alignment or not mounted level with the door edge and indicator, then this could cause the internal spindle to rub against the door, inhibiting the lock mechanism. If upon inspection the lock looks out of alignment on the door, then using a rubber mallet or similar, tap the body of the lock or indicator to try and center the spindle so it's not rubbing on the edges of the hole it's located within. If the lock set looks to be mounted level and the lock set is still jamming or resisting opening or closing, then it's possible that the lock has been over tightened on the door, the mounting holes are uneven or the internal spindle is too long. To check this issue, the lock set will need to be loosened or removed from the door. This can be easily done in a matter of minutes. To remove the 300 series lock set, simply loosen the two screws on the edge of the lock set using a Phillips head screwdriver. Please note, it's important this is done by hand and not using an electric driver. Once you have removed the lock set, turn the handle on the lock. If the handle turns freely, then we can rule out the lock set being the cause of the issue. From here, inspect the spindle and the mounting holes, ensuring everything is square. Ensure you check the spindle. If this has been cut to size on site, make sure the end of the spindle is cut smoothly. If not, this could cause the lock to bind. If you replace the lock onto the mounting bracket and it still jams, we recommend calling the installer. To check the motor, Sarah and XL slide locks, using a small flathead screwdriver, first remove the covers that conceal the screw fixings. Try not to break the cover, although spare covers are available from Metlam Australia. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, Firstly, loosen the screws by one or two turns to release the pressure of how tight the lock is mounted to the door. Slide the handle open and close to check if this alleviates the jamming of the lock set. If this solves the issue, then use silicon glue to glue the covers back into place. If the lock is still sticking or jamming, or the screws need to be loosened too much to resolve the issue, then remove the lock set from the door completely. Once removed, slide the lock mechanism between the open and closed position to test the internals. If this still jams or is grinding and there is no obvious foreign object interfering with the internals, contact Metlam Australia for further advice. If upon checking the lock and slides easily, then the lock set itself is not at fault. Now turn your attention to the installation holes and ensure these are clean and free of debris and level. Ensure the two holes for the threaded rods for the indicator are spaced correctly and in a straight line and there is no friction from the spindle rubbing on your door. If you replace the lock to the door and tighten the screws and the jamming sticking begins again, then please contact the installer for further advice. Our XL slide lock set has a removable handle. So prior to the locking being removed from the door or the screws being loosened off, you need to loosen the grub screws in the handle and remove the handle. Once the handle is removed, follow the same process as the Sarah and Moda slide locks. Lastly, if you turn or move handle, 
The tongue moves correctly, but the red or green disc in the indicator face does not rotate. This could be caused by the spindle being too short and riding, not engaging the spindle accommodator correctly. We recommend you call out the installer to service the system. In some extreme cases of vandalism or misuse, or where the door has been slammed closed with the tongue of the lock in the extended position, this may cause the tongue of the lock to bend and possibly lead to an occupant being locked in the cubicle. Metlam Australia locks and indicator sets have been designed with safety in mind. So our staples are designed to shear before the tongue of the lock is bent. This will protect the occupant from being locked in a partition or cubicle. So remember, 1. Ensure you conduct a regular cleaning and maintenance schedule on your toilet partition hardware, paying particular attention to the hinges and locks. 2. Check the installation of your locks, ensuring that they have been installed as per our installation guidelines available on our website. 3. If all troubleshooting has been carried out, contact your installer. For more information on cleaning and maintenance of your Metlam Australia toilet partition hardware, talk to our friendly Metlam team on 1300 Metlam or visit our website www.metlam.com.au